Hello everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Brian's Basement. Today it's going to be just a short little episode. Uh, we'll be talking about what I'm currently playing and also what I picked up on Black Friday yesterday. So let's get right into it. All right, everyone, thanks again for checking out another episode. Really appreciate you sticking here with me, checking out Brian's basement. So let's get right into it. So let's start with what I picked up yesterday. I'm real excited with some of these, with all these pickups actually. We'll just run through them real quick. Um, I'll do it by the store that I got it from. So we got these four. So I will move these off the side if anyone's wondering what this is this is what I'm playing right now I got these four games from my local game store uh, play Raven if anybody is uh, in the Maryland area uh, that's that's my my spot shout out to Joe he's a good guy he owns this store it's a real great great place you should check it out if you're in the area so anyways I got a four, they had buy one, get one half off on like showcase items. So I was able to get all of these, you know, buy one half off. So we'll just run through. I got a Sparkster from Konami, classic like platformer. Always kind of like reminded me of Rocket Knight. I, I think it's like the sequel. I'm not really sure. I kind of just picked it up on a whim. It wasn't really like something I had like planned out. I just kind of went in there because I knew they were having the sale and saw what they had. So, Sparkster. Real excited about this one. Saber Run? A Run Saber. Jeez, dyslexia getting to me. So, Run Saber. Honestly, don't know much about this one either. Uh, I just love Atlas and it looked cool. It had good reviews online, so I figured why not check it out. I haven't gotten a chance to pop it in yet. I've been kind of busy and with and just just got this stuff yesterday. So Run Saber, it looks really cool. Really excited for this one. Look at that artwork. Awesome. Can't go wrong with Atlas, you know, even in this day and age. Super Turrican. Uh, I've never played this actually, but I have heard of Turrican, so figured I would pick it up. Looks looks awesome. So I mean, I can't like take my eyes off of it. The box is really, really takes me in. I love these old Super Nintendo boxes. They're really cool. So, Super Turrican. Can't go wrong with that. Sonic Blast Man. Uh, I think this is like a arcade port, I would assume. It's Taito, baby. Love Taito. So, real excited to pick this one up. These three had been there at the game store player even for a little while and i was kind of eyeing them so it was uh i was happy to be able to get all four of these this one was a kind of a you know an added bonus but these four awesome real excited good additions to my collection wasn't really even you know hunting for these just kind of came across them and it's always it's always good when you can get cool stuff like that and just add it to your collection and you know find out find some new things so happy on these um let's go to the next store that i went to this was up in uh, hanover pa uh called vault video games another really good store it used to be next to an arcade that i used to love going to called timeline but they closed that location in hanover during the pandemic so it's kind of sad but the game store is still there, so that's cool. So we'll start off with um, let's start off with Turbo Graphics because I love Turbo Graphics. Um, they had a deal going there where if you bought four games, you could get the fifth free, and then there was some other deal that I kind of forgot about. But there are good deals all around, so that's why I was excited to go check it out. And I hadn't been back to this place in like over a year so I was 
looking forward to seeing what NES stuff they had. So I was able to pick up Turrican, Turbo Card, and the manual. So add that to my Turrican collection now. Turrican and Super Turrican. I think there's like Mega Turrican for the Genesis. So I'll have to look for that. Um, Nightmare Creatures or Night Creatures. This one was a little expensive, but always excited to add turbo graphics games to my collection so excited to check this one out um nightmare creatures or night creatures geez i keep thinking it's nightmare but yeah so night creatures love turbo graphics you don't i don't find it a lot when i go to game stores so finding it is always always a treat and i always want to pick up everything they had uh, the jackie chan kung fu game but i had to hold off on that one because it was kind of pricey so maybe another time and then bloody wolf complete oh yeah i love i was wanting this i went to the baltimore comic con uh a couple weeks ago and they had this there but i had to pass because it was a little pricey but i got this for a good deal paid 70 so i was really excited for this love bloody wolf love the weird turbo graphics like cheesy b-movie action games that they have on there I'll have to feature some of those in a later video, but uh, just love me some turbo graphics. So after that, um, I checked out what Saturn, because I'm a big Saturn collector. I love collecting my my complete my complete set collections that I'm going for is Saturn, Sega CD, N64, and NES. So I kind of haven't really shown much love to my N64 complete collection in about a year, but. We'll get back there. I'm doing NES and N64 cart and six Sega CD and Sega Saturn complete. I can't collect loose discs. It's just, I just can't do it. So I got NFL 97. I don't think I had this, but I'll have to check because my, I, I the app I use, I feel like the data keeps like reverting to an older state, but whatever. NFL 97, nothing too exciting just a sports game so you know still like still want to do that complete set so you gotta get the sports games speaking of sports games there's a lot of them here so i'm just gonna run through these real quick because it's all kind of just comments but uh we'll just you know show you what i got so we got ultimate basketball you know a lot most of these were just like five bucks so i was excited to pick these up put them in my collection Ultimate basketball raid on bungling bay bunging bay bungling bay I, i'm probably not pronouncing that right i don't know about that game abc one two three the rarest of the sesame street games Ooh, rarest sesame street game kid icarus didn't have this one yet uh Excited to pick this one up. Shingen the Ruler. No idea what this game is. I'll have to look in Pat Contry's Ultimate NES guidebook and check out some of this stuff. Romstar Thunder and Lightning. Again, don't really know much about this game. Just trying to fill in my complete set. My OCD collecting of NES. So, Xanak. I've always like seen this one. I thought I had it, but I confuse it with like uh, that Hector game and some other ones that I have. Zexel, I think. Zexel is the main one that I confuse this one with. Bad News Baseball. I don't know if this is like based. I always thought this was based on like Bad News Bears, but I guess it's not. More baseball, Tecmo baseball. Woo, Tecmo baseball! Alpha Mission, I had this, but I got ripped off at the Baltimore Comic Con. I paid like 20 bucks for it. I was so excited to find it, and it like the label was a little ripped, and so I decided to do a label upgrade. Nine bucks. So, Track and Field, didn't have this one, so pick, decided to pick that up. Top Gun, I want to see Top Gun Maverick real bad, so I was excited to get this. Five bucks, can't go wrong, can't go wrong adding these to my collection. Another another Sesame Street title that I didn't have. Big Bird's 
hide and speak. I remember one of my good friends growing up had this. So um, this is kind of nostalgic for me to have this game. We never played it, but I remember it being in his collection. I remember it being in my buddy Brandon's collection. Uh, say cross the back of this one is toasted, but I didn't have this and it was the only one so I'll try and clean it up. It's it looks like Gugon could do a good job on that Trick shooting I'm assuming this is like a light gun game probably use the zapper So we'll check it out. We'll check it out. Maybe one day I'll go through and review do complete set reviews We'll see, see if I have the endurance for that. Um, Orb 3D, don't have this one, don't know anything about it, had to pick it up. Junior Jeopardy, thus completing my Jeopardy collection for the NES. And yeah, there it is. So there's all the stuff I picked up. Pretty cool, I'm excited about it. Love getting the Black Friday deals, it gives me an excuse to kinda go in there and pick up the things that I want because you don't really get sales at video game stores throughout the rest of the year. At least I don't see them. So yeah, really excited with my pickups from Play Raven and Vault video games. So let's go on to the second half of the video or probably even less than that. Um, what I'm playing now. So let's go into it. So what I'm playing now, I am playing Police Knots for the Sega Saturn. Uh, this game is awesome. I really, really love this game. I'm going to do a whole video dedicated to this game and, you know, explain everything that I can about it and, you know, just really give my gratitude to the people that patched it to English. Well, that must have been a real Herculean task. I know it took like six or seven years, so just really grateful that this game is in English so that I can play it on my uh, Saturn that I have modded with a mode, um, the, the Terra Onion mode, multiple optical disk drive emulator. So I have that, so I was able to patch the game, and I've been playing through it, and it is just, for a fan of Hideo Kojima, it's really, it's so good. It's such, it's so Hideo, so, so Hideo that it's, uh, that it's, it's just, if you love Hideo, definitely check this out. But I'll talk more about this later because I really want to devote some time and make a proper video for this because it's such an awesome game. It's really totally worth it. So, yeah, we'll do, we'll give the treatment. So, I definitely don't want to do that right now because it'll take too long. But, yeah, Police Knots, for anyone who hasn't checked it out, it's awesome. It's kind of like, uh, it's like the spiritual successor is Snatcher, which is also a great game. And um, you can kind of see there's a little bit of like a lethal weapon ripoff. That guy kind of looks like Mel Gibson. And then your partner kind of looks like Danny Glover. So it's good stuff. Definitely check it out. Um, and then the other one. Oh, and this is the pilot disc. So I have this new, it's for like 3DO. So I don't really know what this does. I gotta do some more research and we'll come back in that Police Knots video. So, uh, and then I'm playing Dragon Warrior for NES. I almost have this beat. I'm getting like Erdrick's armor right now. Um, I haven't like taken any screen caps of this, so I'm not sure if this will be getting a video anytime soon. I should have, but I was just playing through it and enjoying it. I'm playing it on like this little uh, CRT setup that I have. Uh, it's an old older PVM uh, from like 2000, but it's got 600 scan lines, so it actually looks really, really good, really, really crisp. So I'm really enjoying this, really old school, you know, got a um, lot of grinding, a lot of grinding, very like text driven, definitely reminds me more of like an older PC or DOS or Commodore 64 type RPG. It's all like text selection and lots of just lots of text so but it's it's really cool it's definitely like the granddaddy so I'm, I'm really enjoying it and this is another one that took took the team who translated this it took them like three years and I mean if you've played this this game has way less text than police not so again Thank you to the team that translated Police Knots. I, I forget the name right now, but I'll, I'm going to give it give you all the credit 
in the dedicated Police Knots video. So that's pretty much it. That's all I've been playing. My pickups, which I'm really excited about, might see some of these in a future video. I'm thinking definitely Bloody Wolf, maybe a Turrican video. Just need some more time to play with that. I'm not sure about the, what's, what you'll see from this NES collection. Maybe all of it. Maybe I'll do like rapid fire reviews of all the NES games and make that a little series. Who knows what the future will hold. But thanks again for checking this out. And we'll see you again next time in Brian's basement. And really appreciate you seeing, checking out this video. And uh, we'll see you, and we'll see you next time. You know, rambling on once again as I tend to do was trying to make this short but it's just <laughs> they always end up being long so all right thanks again we'll see you in the next video it'll probably be the police knots review which I'm gonna probably uh, I'm, I'm gonna try and do my best to really capture what I want about that game without spoiling too much because I don't want to spoil anything so uh, definitely be on the lookout for that all right we'll see you